happy Tuesday, Redhead Wine Enthusiasts. It is Marissa Sergi, Redhead Winemaker, and I am excited because I'm gonna be pairing my childhood throwback candies with wine for this wine challenge of the week. I chose Pez with a Snow White dispenser. Snow White was my favorite character growing up. Also, we're gonna be using Airheads as well as Zots. If you aren't familiar with Zots, it is a hard candy with fizzy centers. It's gonna be really interesting pairing it with Redhead Red Blend and Rosé. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off by tasting the candies with the Red Blend. If you're not familiar, Redhead Red Blend is 60% Zinfandel and 40% Carmenere. It's very velvety smooth with red fruit notes of plums, cherries, and strawberries with a little hint of spice at the finish. And I think the Pez is gonna really complement the Red Blend because it is a little tart and a little sugary. So I think the tartness is gonna really fare well with the Red Blend. But let's find out. Mm. Haven't had one of those in a really long time. To be honest, the Pez really doesn't do anything with the Red Blend. You just really taste the sugary burst in your mouth from that candy. So I wouldn't really label it as a really fun wine to pair with Pez, but very unexpected, that's for sure. So the Rosé is very dry, yet fruit forward, crisp and refreshing. So I actually have no idea how this is gonna go. That was amazing. Wow. Um, it really emphasized the fruit flavors, strawberries, Bing cherries, a little citrus in here. The lemon flavored Pez really fared well with it because of the citrus really bringing out the fruit flavors in this delicious Provence style rosé. So definitely thumbs up on the rosé. Eh, so-so for the Red Blend. But I'm more interested to see how the Airheads will fare with the Red Blend and the Rosé. So I think what I'm gonna do is just dump this out because there's a lot of flavors in here. Close my eyes, mix them up, and see what flavor we get this week. Okay. All right. Perfect. Cherry. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Mmm, way more tart than I expected. I haven't had one of these in a really long time, too. The cherry airhead really brings out the spice in the Redhead Red Blend. So if you really like the spicy side of wine, I definitely suggest using the cherry flavored airhead. But if I had to predict, I think it's not gonna fare well with the rose, but you never know, wine pairings can be so random, so it's really fun to kind of push the limits and see what happens. Actually, awesome pairing with the rosé too. Very subtle, a little more strawberry on the palate rather than some of the citrus. So I think it's a really different experience to try a cherry airhead with the rosé because you get a really different sassy side with it regardless when you have it in the glass with or without candy. So next, for our final throwback candy, I'm going to use Zots, that fizz in your mouth. But I have to show you guys how fizzy this stuff gets. So I'm going to be using some different lab equipment today besides my wine testing stuff. So I have my trusty safety, safety glasses as well as my handy dandy hammer. So we're going to smash one of these Zots and I'm gonna drop in the rosé so you can check it out. So let's see if I could actually, you know, hit the mark the first time. No. <laughs> I'm a winemaker by trade. Oh, I did get it, it did smash. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again, but we'll use this one. So we're gonna smash this Zot and see if I could Aim this time. Look at that. Third time's a charge, people. Okay, so we are going to pour some rosé so you guys can see how fizzy it gets. All right, so now it's time for the real test. A little nervous about this one, not gonna lie, but I'm going all in. 
So when I was little, I usually have to bite into them to unleash all the fizz at once. But if you are trying to go in in a more subtle fizz release mode, you just eat the candy and it's, it slowly releases from the end. But I think I'm gonna go big or go home today and just bite right into it and drink the wine. So wish me luck. Oh my God. I can't, oh, way too much. Okay guys, abort mission. I'm not even gonna do the rosé because it got so fizzy that my wine turned into a fizz and I felt like I was gonna drown while not swimming and fail at life and I just can't do that. So 10 out of 10, thumbs down, don't try at home. And if you do have someone with you so you don't choke and die like I almost did. So I think the winner of today was the Cherry Airhead because it really brought out so many unique characteristics of both wines that I didn't expect. So I definitely suggest that you try this pairing at home. But thank you so much for watching. Share this video if you thought it was interesting or funny. And um, if you do have any unique wine challenge pairings you'd like me to try in my next video, please comment below and I'll definitely include it in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys later. See more behind the scenes at Redhead Wine. Definitely subscribe below or follow me at Redhead Wines various social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All the links are below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next week's video.